honest opinions about Nuno Espirito Santo being sacked. Honest opinions, if I would want to give, I think. I think the there are the, the the players never wanted to play for him. It was clear that the players never wanted to play for him. It just showed in the game against Man United. Like the biggest one is Harry Kane, the driving force of Tottenham last season. He did not want to play, and everything was disastrous about that game. The midfield was disastrous. The defense was disastrous. I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> what to say. What what to say? Yeah. But, uh, I mean, someone had to take one for the team. I mean, to keep Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, employed, someone had to take uh, take a bullet. And I think Nuno is the hero that is quite underrated, Uno, Nuno Espirito Santo. It was El Sakiko, wasn't it, as seen everywhere on Twitter. So, uh, I, think, I think Nuno, of course, uh, Spurs want someone who would do... They believe that the squad is very good, so they want someone... To take this squad straight away to the top, which, my friend, I think, is tough. It's open this season. I mean, the season is not over at all. Uh, they want Champions League football. I don't know if someone can get that to them. I mean, even if Conte comes in, there are certain players who are not going. Who they will gasp for air, man. Conte really squeezes every ounce of energy from their players. I don't know if they can do that or not. I don't know. And Domley will die. I don't know what's what's gonna happen. So. Let's me, let me share the news that I have for you guys. So Arsenal assistant coach Carlos Cuesta on Instagram. Uh, well, this is what he did after Arsenal's uh, away win versus Leicester City. He says, addicted to this feeling and we want more. Of course, he wants more. Carlos Cuesta, you want more. We also want more. And talking about Aaron Ramsdale. Well, he was praised by Peter Schmeichel. So Ramsdale says, it's like someone's hacked his Twitter. It's crazy. And quite hard to explain with Casper being at the other end and Peter tweeting that it was a special moment for me to see that when I came into the dressing room and on being uh, on actually playing alone with Leicester fans banter during the game Ramsdale says I just thought I'd go along with it I've missed it over the course of the COVID I think it makes me play better it makes me prove a point it helps me prove someone wrong it raises my concentration levels if I'm giving a beat to them and I'll, I make a mistake. I know I'm going to get absolutely slaughtered. I can't let anything in if I'm giving them a bit of banter. True. 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 Well, he's a smart lad. He knows what he's doing at the age of 23. So that's really cool. So moving on, it looks like Garth Crooks believes Arsenal's best signing. No, 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 no. It's not Ramsdale. No, sir. No, it's Gabriel Magalas. So... Finally, it's about time the underrated defender is given his importance. So Garth Crooks, you know, uh, speaking in his uh, Premier League Team of the Week for the BBC, he says, Arsenal often look a different outfit when Gabriel is fit and in the team. It would certainly appear since their victory in the North London derby. The Gunners season has come alive. It's not the, it's not the first time either team has used the fixture to stimulate their season, but Arsenal seem to have done it in a spectacular fashion. To beat Leicester away is one thing, but to do it in a manner they did was notable. So, hey, hey, hey. We're we, we getting our recognition. That's what we deserve, I guess. So, that's really cool. From Garth Crooks. Crazy stuff. But moving on, let's talk about finally another report which tells Arsenal getting linked with Luka Jovic being the replacement for Lacazette. Now, we've, 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 been, we've been talking, IG has been making uh, thumbnails with Dusan Blahovic, uh, Dominic calvert Low, and this guy, is, this guy's a madman. He does that every single time, doesn't he? But hey, hey, hear me out. So it looks like Arsenal will make an offer to sign Real Madrid striker Luka Jovic on loan. According to reports... Arsenal may soon be looking for a replacement for Lacazette and it appears Jovic is one name Mikel Arteta has identified now. I also came across a report which says Arsenal are interested in Luka Jovic uh, uh, or loan with an option to buy and uh, the option to buy will be set at around 25 million euros. If that's the case, it's not a bad option but hey, loan makes a lot of sense for Luka Jovic, man. He's got to prove himself. I mean, I mean, to go to Real Madrid, he had to have a fantastic season with Eintracht. He did. So I think there's nothing wrong if he comes on loan at Arsenal. I mean, of course, we know what we've done with Martin Odegaard. We liked what we saw and we got the player, man. There's nothing wrong with it. So, of course, why not? It's a, it's a fantastic idea, I guess. But let's see if that works. Let's see if that works or not. 
Moving on, Alex Lacazette has reportedly already decided to, you know, he's, he's, he's going to decide that he's going to move away from Arsenal. So it looks like, uh, according to Fischer's, Lacazette still feels that his future is more likely to be away from Arsenal. Uh, we all know that Mikel Arteta has said uh, before that, you know, hey, come on, you know, Arsenal, there is no, uh, uh, you know, Arsenal not offering him a new contract or something like that. Or Mikel said that, yes, there's a chance that we can offer him. So reports claim that Lacazette will not pen any new contract offer, giving him the opportunity to speak with foreign clubs from January onwards. Let's see if that stands true or not. But right now, we're going to talk about the loan report. We've got a report of the loanies that Arsenal have spent. What did they do with this week? So, Matteo Genduzi provided an assist and was booked. Uh, William Saliba was also played the whole game versus uh, Claremont Foot. Marseille won that game 1-0. William Saliba also played the full game and was booked as well. Lucas Torreira played 75 minutes for Fiorentina in their 1-0 win against Spezia. Daniel Ballard played 83 minutes as Millwall lost 1-0 to Huddersfield Town. Sad. Matt Smith played the whole game as Don Rovers were beaten 4-0 by Carlton Athletic. Uh, Reese Nelson was brought on in the 83rd minute of Feyenoord's 1-0 win against Sparta Rotterdam. Miguel Aziz was again an unused substitute as Portsmouth beat Bolton Wanderers 1-0. Again. Uh, Nicolaj Mola was an unused substitute as Victoria Cologne beat Magdeburg 1-0. Alex Ronasen was an unused substitute as OH Leuven drew 2-2 with Anderlecht. Hector Bellerin missed out through injury as Real Betis were beaten 3-0 by Atletico Madrid. Injury meant that Jordi SA 2-2 wasn't involved in Nottingham Forest's one-all draw with QPR. Konstantinos Mavropanos wasn't involved as Stuttgart lost 4-1 to Augsburg. Jonathan Dinsey was involved, wasn't involved as Carlisle United were beaten 3-0 by Northampton Town. Dejan Ilya wasn't involved as Sered lost 3-1 to Ruzom Barok. Tom Smith wasn't involved as Welling beat Bilarike Town 1-0. Tyrese John Jules missed out through injury as Blackpool lost 1-0 to Sheffield United. And Harry Clark's Ross County weren't in action this weekend. So that's the update. But Piers Morgan has actually made a transfer request to Arsenal. So, you know, go and get Declan Rice. That's what he tweeted out at least. So Declan Rice just posted this kind of an image that he absolutely loved destroying Aston Villa. So Piers Morgan uh, quoted and retweeted with the caption, Arsenal should sign this guy. Do you want Arsenal to sign Declan Rice? Because I think I, I read a comment, I, I, read, I, read, I read a comment from their manager. He goes out and he says, David Moyes, David Moyes said that, you know, uh, that, that I, I don't know, I don't know the exact quote. He, he said something like this, that, you know, everyone had a chance to sign Declan Rice at 100 million. That's not going to be that much anymore. It's going to be more than that because Declan Rice's defensive numbers, tackle numbers, interception numbers are unbelievable. I read them and it's really fantastic. So, of course, that won't be cheap. That's his English. Game over. Well, Liverpool and Arsenal target decides preferred transfer destination. Now, Juventus could reportedly be in a stronger position to clinch the transfer of Dusan Vlahovic ahead of clubs from the Premier League. I hate this. I hate this when that happens. When we, when any club would want to, you know, uh, look at some th something at Serie A, Juventus are linked with them. I mean, I hate this. So, well, according to Tuto Sport, Juventus would be his preferred destination. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It's not. It's not that any other club should not think of it. So, moving on. So, Aubameyang decision that's been explained here by former Premier League referee Dermot Gallagher has given his verdict on the decision. He says, I would suggest it's an error of judgment because of the referee's position. When the ball drops, he doesn't know the distance between Aubameyang and the ball. Once Aubameyang spins him, you ask, is it a foul? Most definitely. Is he in control of the ball? No, but he will control it. Clear path to goal and the referee's position dictated his judgment and made him choose the wrong decision. Cool, cool. Dermot, I 100% agree, but there's something called as VAR. There's something called as VAR. If you're in doubt, speak to them. What is VAR for? 
and another shocking story Unai Emery to Newcastle well it's been said before but it's again taking the rounds because it looks like former Arsenal boss Unai Emery is being linked with a move to Newcastle United the Magpies sacked Steve Bruce last month and are now in the hunt for a new manager to lead their evolution following Amanda Staveley's Saudi takeover so yeah they, they're really pissed at the moment what we, what they see at Newcastle on the page so according to El Nacional Arsenal could reignite their interest in former loanee Dani Ceballos get out get out no I'm not even entertaining that news so Bukayo Saka has, has actually uh, come out and praised uh, Aaron Ramsdale here's what he said he said from my angle it was 100% a goal and then he saved it the second action I thought it was going to be a goal again and he saved us again I don't know how he saved it. Then he saved it again. So hats off to him from me. He was our best player today and he deserved a clean sheet. He just keeps surprising everyone and he's in great form. I just hope he can continue like that because he's making a big difference. But did you know Thomas Partey is still unbeaten in the Premier League since 1-0 loss to Everton. When he, whenever he started in the midfield, Arsenal have not lost since that Everton game. So cool news another news that I'd really like to skip but I have to you know well Arsenal could face competition for the signature of Wonder Week with Barcelona reportedly admiring the Dutch international that is according to sport who claimed that Catalan Giants held an interest in acquiring Wonder Week services before he moved to Old Trafford no Kolasinac yes in January Seyad Kolasinac with Africa Cup of Nations looming Arsenal have a better chance to move on the likes of Seyad Kolasinac. Same as with Eleni, I guess. So, yeah, it's not a big problem, I guess. So, yeah. So, with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal content, best place to be. Consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. And cheers.